Steve, can you please close the close the window? I'm too high. Here you can. Oh gosh. Flip it up. Oh my gosh, Sina, please. Hun, can you please go? Sina, stop her. Stop her, Sina. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and my name is Willisi Halaholo. Lovely to meet you, Willisi Halaholo. Lovely to have you today. Hello. Um, so I'm finally do we are finally doing this a dumb vlog. It's been like what maybe a month or two since I said we we're gonna do on Instagram, but it's just been a little bit crazy, a little bit full on. Um and yeah, we're finally like prioritizing the sit down vlog so yeah so well let's before we start would you like to like fill us in and update us because like you literally went missing from my vlogs don't want to vlog anymore would you like to update us hi guys my gosh, back. listen to them listen to them out there can you listen can, by the way if this is your like first time hanging out with us oh my gosh it's what's coming through we have four daughters Thank you, baby. Close it and can you close that door, please? Because you guys are like hooligans. I'm working. Oh, please close it. <laughs> I'm working. Hey, mom, cut that out. Okay, cut that out. okay, I'm okay. Okay, darling, can you please close it and then close the other doors? Please, because we need to get this over and done with. Okay, so, look do you have any look updates? Look at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sina and now Atulela. Oh my gosh, honestly. Um, wait, wait, hun. Wait, wait, wait until they get out. So yeah, we have we have four daughters, and so Willis and I we've also been together since high school. We got a bit of a story. So if you want to go back and watch our old sit down vlogs, then I think the first sit down vlog we did will be like a. A good one like you will know what we've come from and all of that so yeah update yes. us when you're ready will you see like all hi guys um what do you mean like, i've been around us, i've like... been i got i've been injured most of 2022 so i've just been um hiding away working and not really want to talk to anyone Morning guys, we went to dinner last night, croissant, two muffins, <sighs> well this is just had his op so his arm is like pretty sore and so that's a sling that he has to wear all the time when he's up and about so um yeah it's just on the ground. So he had like an operation on last Friday, today is Wednesday, it's got two holes in the front and two holes at the back. So how are you feeling, Wolves? I yeah, can't and sleep properly. Yeah, I can't sleep properly. I have two labral tears, bicep tendon tear. There it is. Can you see that? She's not going to take it off. Just had to stretch it all back up. Cut the bicep tendon off. And then wait 12 weeks to heal. So 12 weeks to heal. Huh? This feels like deja vu. Is that straight enough or I feel yeah. like it's Is lopsided? This on my knee? Yeah, but should it be like that? Yeah. Are you okay? No, that's fine. Okay. You wanna stand up? Just drink. Ah, Atul, move that stuff. Oh, cool. So that was just literally like Wallace putting on a leg brace thing. Um, yeah, he's injured. We don't know what's wrong. We don't know how serious this injury is. So yeah, a little bit discouraging. I think sometimes like, you know, we can get used to just good things happening, but these kinds of bad things is, is part of real life. So yeah, that's what's happening today. Are you okay, Wills? So, nah, I've just been injured. I just had a, I had a shoulder operation last year. He's you got like three, one, two, three. 
Yes. Do they call it incisions? Yep. I don't know. I think so, yeah. Where they just put the cameras in and then... And he was just working like that, looking at the screen and then tying it up. And it's so funny because like he's got four tattoo or he's got a tattoo of the girls and like the 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 surgeon said that um he the, felt he felt guilty um drilling a hole through Marcina's face so he came a little bit above her head yeah good on him so that was the first injury yeah and then uh, in October I tore my hamstring Another operation, so I'm in the middle of that rehab right now. Hopefully, be back soon. Yeah, and this this year, this week was pretty was, um, significant because you started running this week. Yeah, I started running this week. This was pretty good. Well, third, was it, how many times have you ran? Twice or three times? Three times, yeah. Three times. Three last times. Week, yeah. Well, thank you for the update. Okay, marriage advice. What's your three top tips for marriage? Either together or individually. I think maybe just individually. Individually? Yeah, because my tips will probably be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you. what? So my tips would be like for men? I don't know, for whatever. Well, I, it wouldn't be... No, okay, oh, so yeah, maybe, maybe like the, your... Okay, maybe three... <sighs> Like three tips that you've learned, or three lessons you've learned, because mm. then you can share it. Um, damn, I don't even know. Flip, I better start thinking too. Yeah, mm. you know what? In the last, let me think, two years, I think what I've learned. Like I said in the last few years, what I learned is like you have to be able to adapt and change. Like say things things we found normal growing up mm. wasn't gonna be normal for your partner or yeah, true. you know things like that. That's what I found lately. Like having being able to understand that. Your partner doesn't think the same or look, view things the same because you grew up that way or something like that. Yeah, I understand. I know, yeah, I know what you mean. I think hmm, in the season, you know what? I think because Wallace and I, we've been together. We've been together. How oh my gosh, how long have we been together? Going on to 15 in September. Oh wait, going on to, oh my gosh, going on to 15 soon? Yeah, March. Uh, yes. I thought it was only 14, babe. Yeah, she's 15 this year. 16! Oh my gosh, we've been together for a long time. So, okay, so we've been together for a while. Like, seasons change and I think like, this past season, this past year, it's been like, and as a wife, it, I've had to be like a lot more selfless as Willis has been like Because um, he had been away from home a lot more because he was away with international games and stuff and then also like injuries, so he was um, Not doing as much because obviously he couldn't because of his shoulder and then his leg <clears throat> And for people that don't know it was actually quite a, like your hamstring um, operation was quite big. It, yeah. Like the scars yeah. probably like... So from the top of my middle finger to the to my thumb, that's how long the scar is. And so he couldn't walk for like 12 weeks. And like I think in a marriage, if you're, if you're a young married couple, if you're like about to start your marriage, I think you have to like remember the realities of marriage. It's not all like fun and dinner and fine dining and vacations and like all that nice stuff that you see like couples post on Instagram. There will be a time where it's like you have to like be selfless. You have to serve your partner a little bit more and it's seasonal and that's okay. It's normal and like I think 
when I was going through that, we had to like serve him a lot more. Actually on both ends, because I, I, I was poorly as well. Like I was sick as well for this past season. And like I had to remember my vows, like, you know, for better or for worse or like through sickness and in health. And so like if you ever get to a stage in your marriage where it's not as like fun or as like adventurous or I don't know eventful and like the seasons change and it dips a little bit I think yeah just remember that's all that's like normal it's 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 normal part of marriage and if you're going through that season don't feel like oh like I'm not happy we're not happy like I think if you want your marriage to work and you want to really like commit to it then know that those seasons are going to come i think if you just think about marriage should be fun marriage should be this marriage should be that and then when the hard times come i feel like you're not going to be really like strong or have that strong foundation because you'll probably crumble if you don't have like a realistic expectation of marriage so i think i think i'm just gonna yeah that's my first tip or lesson that I've learned and yeah do you have anything else or mm. what are both your love languages and how do you show up what's your love language oh gosh what is your love language in the season I, I think know. your I think your love language is um like, I don't know it's quality time huh that time that we were watching like Netflix and stuff and I'm like, oh I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't I'm not like um gifts or anything like that. I I think we're the same. Yeah we are. We're like quality time and acts of service. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, 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 we are. Pretty much it. Yeah. But it's like been a little bit harder, like obviously because we got kids and there's four of them. It's a little bit harder to like spend more time together and have because there's probably like lots of people that probably invest so much time and quality like spending like date night and stuff but i think like moving forward i think um bullis and i were talking about i think like two weeks ago or three weeks ago we're gonna try our best to like be more try and invest more in date night but i think like in the busy seasons and stuff in the seasons where you do have little children or maybe you do live away from home or like you guys are just kind of like passing ships and barely see each other you and your spouse i think like in those seasons because it's just a season it's just a chapter like i know this busyness with willis and i while our babies are young it's not gonna always be like this and i think like you just have to enjoy the little moments like even right now just chilling and chatting like this is this is wholesome for me like i'm happy with this i don't i feel like i enjoy like being at home having cup of teas rather than getting dressed up and going out and having food no nah, you know and like <clears throat> eating out i feel you know like i enjoy it more you know why it doesn't home. affect us like hard out like because we never really did that yeah, when we were younger, eh? Yeah, like, we never went through a dating phase where it was just, yeah. like, we went straight for, like, we went straight to being boyfriend and girlfriend to parents. <laughs> but then... Listen to them. They're, here, they're gonna pick up. That's gonna pick up. That, that's the girls playing. Um, yeah. So, like, I, that's why it doesn't really, like, I don't know. Like, when we have time, we'll find time, but it doesn't really, like, Affect us. Affect us in yeah. a way where it's like, it's a oh, must. It's our a marriage is crumbling. Crumbling. Nah, it's just like we're just so used to. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I you feel know, like people usually like date for like three, four years. Or well, yeah. And then like, they're used to that life. Or they used to go on holidays and trips and all that. And we never got that, so it's like doesn't really affect us as much as would other people. Hmm. And yeah, probably because, I don't know, I just feel like there's going to be a time for that. Like, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I feel like there will be a time where we can go and do that. There will be a time where our schedules will like... Where, where we can go on like holidays. Yeah, there will be a time. 
Yeah, and these guys are just gonna be like, can we come? <laughs> they don't be like 35 and you're like, can I come? And I think it looks different for us because like, that's one of the sacrifices we just had to make. We live far away from family and we are not, we're not people who just kind of like trust anyone with our children. So that's just one of the sacrifices we have to make, like being away from family and home, family yeah. and that's pretty home. much it really. Yeah. Because we're on the side of the world, it's just hard to. If, if it was, what should we call it? If, it, if we were at home, I feel like we'd do so much together. But I don't know, I feel like I'm content in like my little cup of teas with you, my little like drives and things and different things like, yeah. yeah. In this season, this is just what the season looks Little like. Little Netflix series. Yeah, like simple, simple things. Um, <laughs> what's your most embarrassing moment? What is your most embarrassing moment? I feel like it's too embarrassing to share. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh wait, did I share that? I don't know if I've shared this, but like we were teenagers. I'm sure I've already shared this. I think you've already shared. This. No wait, I but I have a feeling that I haven't. Like um, this is like because Willis would go out all the time, right? And this is when like I was so naive. This is when like I would um, what would I do? Oh my gosh, my bad memory. No, my dad was like mowing the lawns. And like he was cleaning the garden and stuff and then he came out and i know my dad my dad is such a like a he's such a he he knew those were your pants but he was just trying to he was just like oh whose are these he didn't look angry it's like he wanted to be entertained do you remember those pants so like the there were these yeah there were these jeans and my dad bought them and he was just like oh whose jeans are these and i was just like looking at willis and you could just, like, Willis had, like, this little, like, grin on his face. Like, he was a little bit, like, oh, shame, snapped. It's like my dad knew and Willis knew. And it was, like, I was just kind of, like, standing there, like, looking at him, looking at Willis. So, yeah, that wasn't, was that embarrassing? You were, like, grinning. Huh? Was it embarrassing to you or were you, like, more, like, oh, my gosh. Flip, those are my jeans. Can my na can my dad not? <laughs> That's how much of a clean freak he is. <laughs> he literally can't hide anything. You gotta, like, you gotta, gotta go no, in. you gotta, you, you gotta explain <laughs> more about why the jeans were there because people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, he shit his pants. That's not, that's not what happened. Okay, you all explain then. You huh? explain. I don't know why the jeans were there. Yeah, because you were, you were like trying to like make it out like you didn't just come home from the clubs. No, well, you tell us, like, why were the jeans there? Can't remember. I honestly can't remember. That's probably it. You probably, he probably, like, snuck out. And he probably, like, told me, like, I'm not going to go out. I'm not going to go out with the boys, blah, blah, blah. So he probably had, like, boxes underneath, like, his jeans. Or, like, chill shorts underneath his jeans. Some basketball jeans. shorts or something, yeah. Well, I don't know. What did you have underneath your jeans? No, nah, rugby right shorts. Rugby shorts. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think that, yeah, I I don't know why, but I don't know why it just popped though. into my mind. Like, what's they gonna do? Yeah. You put him down. Walk in with <laughs> shorts, but a whole breath. Yeah, I don't. Um, is Wales home now? Yeah, it's a part of home. For but me, do you think it's going to be home forever? Permanent home? Yeah. No. That's what I think that question means. No, it's not permanent home. End of the day... Well, my parents are still around, I've got to go back. Yeah. I'm going to get one set. And not here for long, so... got to go back and spend time, especially for my kids. Spend time with their grandparents. And yeah, so I will mm. definitely go home at some point, but don't know when. But yeah, well, once they, while they're still alive, I still gotta go back home. Yeah, because we've been away from home 
for about 10 years. From, from 10 years? From home. Auckland. From Auckland. Like living outside of home 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, so that's a long time to be away from home. And I think like we have nieces and nephews. We've missed out on so many births, birthdays, gatherings, Christmases. And like it's amazing that we get this opportunity to like travel and experience life on the other side of the world. But yeah, I hope that we like, you know, we will get to go back home, take the girls so they can know what it's like, like having family nearby. And it's interesting, eh? Because like when they're little, we go back home often. And when they're like babies, you take them home. They're not really attached, but when they grow older, it's like they they become so attached. Like we we'll only spend one month there, but when it's time to say goodbye, like that, it really it breaks them. Yeah, they really do bond. Yeah. With their cousins and aunties and uncles and and grandparents. Because we have friends around here, but it's not it's not the same bond. Like you don't see them every day. Then, but when we went back home, it was just. They knew they knew the difference between family and friends and yeah and i remember like we went back i think like 2000 and like maybe 19 18 or 17 and stina like sam came over wallace's youngest brother and she was just like um to wallace what's what's your friend's name and so then wallace was explaining to stina like this is not my friend this is my brother and so like it's cool how just seeing how the girls didn't understand what an auntie or uncle was but now like they do and it's cool because you think that they're gonna forget like marcina being as young as she is like our kids would like cry for cry because they miss home like they'll go to school come back home and be like i just want to go to like nana bar's oh my gosh i just want to go to nana bar's house or something and yeah, because they're so little, like, you wouldn't think that. Okay, we need to ch change the question, otherwise we're going to cry. <laughs> okay, you can pick the next one. Um, do you guys find it hard living away from home? What's the biggest challenge? 